Good afternoon from South Cambridge here in the United Kingdom. Today's episode we're going to cover three things. Two of them are outside. The first one is going to be simultaneous speed tests. Now that's from uh, two locations in the UK. One is mine and one is uh, Jas Smith who I found and discovered these wonderful people through the Discord server which I will share. I've got that on screen now but I'll share the link below if you want to join that little group. Then next up we've got obstructions. You will know that I possibly have an uh, OCD issue and I was getting some obstructions. 24 seconds to be exact. I thought it might have been the trees. So we go on a little journey outside and try and resolve that issue. And then finally a Wi-Fi test and yeah okay so it's not just any old Wi-Fi test. This is a Wi-Fi test on the extreme. I have fortunate enough to have quite a big area here. So I head outside and see how far I can get fast speeds from Starlink in the field. So two things before I start. First of all, Des appears to have changed slightly. He now has a moustache that was kindly sent in by Aaron Wilkes. And it did make me laugh. Des is now very continental, European type, chilled individual. And lastly, before I start, this is important. Here's the lambs headbutting each other. So as I start these speed tests, you can see mine against Jas Smith's. Jas has, he's on the previous firmware. I was fortunate enough to receive a firmware update overnight and I thought it cracked code because it said it was Feb something something and immediately made an assumption that it was based on the month but today's the 21st of April so it's wrong. But the speed tests are there and you can see that it's interesting that this the ping is a bit unstable various other things still fast don't get me wrong it still flies no question about that. One thing I've noticed with today's firmware update and I will display that for you now things are becoming more stable ping is becoming better I feel like it's now not about speed but about stability and that can only be a good thing I feel once they nail stability they're literally going to unleash speed like there's no tomorrow So I'm going to leave those run there in the corners because moving on to the next thing, which does tie in very nicely, I can see the link there, which there isn't one. Obstructions. I keep getting phantom obstructions. We've talked about this before. And they bother me. I, I don't know why, but they do. My Starlink dish is on the roof and I keep getting obstructions. Uh, so I try and resolve it. So here's me on an outside broadcast. Hello from the back of the house here in South Cambridge, outside broadcast. Can't wait to get my hair cut tomorrow. I'm going to chop some trees down. I feel that I keep getting these obstructions popping up and uh, I'll show you the little chart. It says, maybe I just put it there, it's there, it'll pop up. But these are the things here called Pussy Willow, right? And my dish is uh, actually, we can kind of, there, there it is. And I don't, it's showing up a, an obstruction at 30 degrees, uh, which north is uh, that way. So there's a potential, these trees, and they're not massively high. This is what I don't get, are causing the obstruction. Now it's only 23 seconds a day, but it's enough for me to put up some scaffolding and uh, I'm gonna climb up and, and chop those down. Now, my wife has categorically said, don't do it. She's gone out for a meeting, so let's do it. So it was a highly trained individual. And by trained, I mean, uh, I read a manual. I watched a YouTube video, actually. I've got a helmet, I've got a chainsaw, and uh, safety, safety's paramount. The last thing I want is a tree falling on my face and uh, damaging my aged, wrinkly skin. So, uh, this is a moment of truth. Potentially a uh, marriage breaker, but you know, trees that grow back like hair so it's, it's it's gonna be okay and it might get rid of the obstructions if it doesn't well yeah total waste of time let's get up there 
Okay, so I can confirm that was mission successful. Uh, we get a fair bit of collateral damage here at the bottom, but the trees are now clear. So there's a dish and the trees are looking pretty trimmed back. I was gonna uh, do this one over here. It's not nothing. Uh, I don't think it's, no, no way it's higher than a dish. I don't think the dish looks that angle, but in terms of the grind stuff, I mean, it's, it's low, I don't think it's that much, but let me show you. So you can see, that's a fair bit. Uh, mission successful, I'm happy with that. I feel like I've achieved something, it's quite masculine today. So I can go and sit down and edit my video without feeling guilty. Back into the house, let's go. So only time will tell whether that has had any effect. I'm sure tomorrow morning I'll wake up and it wouldn't surprise me if the obstructions were even longer. And then I would probably have to build scaffolding to space to try and resolve the issue. But on a serious note, those trees were not harmed. I'm highly skilled. And they grow back very fast. They're a tree called Pussy Willow, which is literally the most unusual name for a tree. And it's brought a lot of laughs to our house. But when my wife gets home today, I'm not so sure she'll be laughing when she sees the front garden. So lastly, let's move on to the distance test with the Wi-Fi and various other bits and pieces. So before I move on to my next outside exercise, I just want to touch on the news that came through about Starlink unlocking the geo whatever, geo fencing or geo something, where you can take your Starlink wherever you like. And that's brilliant, unless you've mounted it on your chimney. Be interesting to see how that pans out and they are clearly, you buy a system, you can take it wherever you like. It'll be handy, I guess, if you have a camper van or you travel a lot and you've got a massive suitcase, you can just carry your Starlink with you, obviously. So that brings us on nicely to range test of the ASUS system. So a lot of questions have been asked about my router and it's the GTAX. 11,000 and it's an Asus router and I again I've said before don't know loads about it but I've got this mesh system now the mesh nodes the model number of those is AX6600 and they're very easy to set up that's why I got them and the range does seem to be really good so I wanted to see how far I could get Starlink across our farm so let's head to outside broadcast number two so here I am outside and I'm gonna do this speed test. This is our garden area, so it's not that far from the house and there's just a node right in by those double doors there. And really we should be getting a pretty, pretty good speed test out here. So here goes the first one. Go. There it goes, it's gone up now. I worried there for a minute. It didn't look like it was gonna go, but it is. Guessing the results and guessing that was maybe 120 or something. Okay, so 128 and that was down and 20.3 up and it showed I got a full signal. I'm going to run that one real quick um, just to see because I've just been moving around, jumping between nodes and I've also I've just switched on a new node so that may have affected the stability of the network. It sometimes takes a few minutes just to iron itself out and fix certain things. So yeah, there we go. We're up to 200 and 206 there or something. Anyway, so yeah, you get the idea. It's pretty good. So it's in the back garden, obviously not that far from things. It's, it's pretty good. Let's move on to the next area, which is the gym. Okay, so um, by gym, I mean garage. This is my garage and I work out here uh, a lot. This is my place where I come. So now, yeah, it's filthy, it's dirty, but it's, it's good. It works for me. The note for this, this one is here. It's not wired. It's not on any Ethernet connection. It's purely a wireless connection to the house. And I'll ping that up on the map so you can see the distance. So anyway, here we go. Let's do a speed test. I mean, I should hope that's pretty good. Bear in mind, we're standing right beside a node. With I think it backhauls on 5G, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, so you see it's going pretty well. It's going to be interesting when we move outside towards the 
the field and go further afield. So pings at 30 on that, downloads 282, and uploads currently about 22, 23. Let me see if I can focus, there you go. So they're fairly decent stats. Let's move somewhere more exciting than here. So here we are at the next location. This is a bit further away from the house. As you can see, the house is just behind that fence there. The garage that I just did the speed test from is where the bins are, just behind that. So we're gonna see how well I can receive speed out here. So here we go. Well, it looks like I've loaded strong a little bit. Uh, maybe do another one, I'll see. Whether well, that's just a network thing or if it is actually slowing down. That's gonna be good now. So I have got a couple of things running in the office for work. So that was 131 down, 34 ping and 10 uploads. So let's go again on that last one. And we'll move on to the next location. I love being outside. Yeah, it looks a bit better. So I was fairly confident that was indeed more network thing. As I said, I've got a couple of work things going there. So it's 161 down, 24 up in the middle of the yard, if you like. So next challenge is out in the field. Now it's potentially gonna be quite windy out here and we have got some people staying in the area that we, we, we have a little like bell tents and some people camp up here and stuff like that. So I don't wanna disturb them too much. So I'm gonna go down as far as I can down the field and see how well a speed test goes from the middle of the field. Okay, so having looked at the Wi-Fi, I'm gonna mark this location on the map. This is where I'm standing right now. And this is about as far as I can go on these routers or this mesh network. So it's right on the edge and it does drop out and jump on the 4G. I will say the 4G is not very fast around here. It maxes out at about, I don't know, 15, 16 megabits. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at my phone. I've got uh, one bar of Wi-Fi and here we go. Let's try this and I'll try not to lose the Wi-Fi connection. So here we go. So even if that jumps off and it shows 4G, it's not, I'm, pretty, I'm fairly certain it's still in the network. As I say, 4G is not that fast. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but it did a couple of times when I had a quick look at it. Uh, and it's not, so we've still got one bar of Wi-Fi there. So we're still on the, the home network and getting pretty close to the results. So 29 ping, 133 down and 29.5 up. And that's fairly impressive in my opinion for this network. So you have a little bit of fun. How far can you get Starlink away from your home? And this is not by any means me taking it off the chimney and driving a caravan somewhere. This is simply me setting up a mesh network. Uh, we've got a lot of management to do of this area, this farm, and it requires a lot of good music just to keep me motivated. So there you go. Wi-Fi, sort of in a field. So as you can see, I think that went fairly well. I can play music play games, hide outside and surf the internet and the barns. Nobody will ever know, and it's fast, and that's the most important thing. But genuinely, it does matter. I, I look after a lot of the land up here, and uh, you know, 4G isn't great out there, and being able to access my home network out there is quite comforting. Anyway, I do hope that was of use to you today. If you have any questions, please ask me. In terms of the gear and the network stuff, I am not sponsored by Asus. I keep mentioning them, and I feel like I feel like I'm driving their PR. I'm 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 not. I've just set that up because it's incredibly easy to do. It's a few, few clicks on an app, and away you go. And I'm sure there's much better systems out there. In fact, that's where the Discord server that I'm part of is probably going to help you. There's some guys and girls in there who know networking very well, and I'm sure they can advise a lot better than I can. So if you're up for joining, I look forward to seeing you there. And whatever you're up to for the rest of today, have a good one. And I will catch you later.